Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Modern Warfare franchise store video. This one is gonna be for April 21st. Guys, I've recorded this like so many times, I can't even count at this point. Um, my voice just keeps giving out. I woke up with allergies or I'm sick. I'm not exactly sure. But, um, you know, I just can't get through this video. So I think we're just gonna stick with whatever comes out on this one. I've seen all these bundles already just from recording it so many times. Let's just hop right into it, man. Featured section has two brand new ones, including the Ronin Operator. And we got two returning in the operator's identity. And we have one brand new one here. And we have one that I can't remember where it's from. If this is season two or season one, please let me know in the comments. I have no idea where this one is from. I do not remember it. So it is in the pump shotgun, the very first one. I can never remember the name of this one. But it's not a bad blueprint. Choke, true grip, five milliwatt, and the no stock. So, you know, you could add a couple things to it. But, um, you know, it's certainly not bad. And I think it looks cool. But, um, yeah, well worth 800 if you don't have that shotgun leveled up at all. So, moving on. This one is sick, man. I've, you know, taken a peek at this one, obviously, from recording already. And it is basically Damascus just for one weapon. So, it's a really good marketing strategy for them to do this. So many players want Damascus, but they cannot get it. So, if they start, you know, introducing these bundles that look very similar to Damascus, they're going to sell. If you guys remember in Black Ops 4, there was a reactive camo that I cannot remember the name of, but... It looked just like Dark Matter from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 in Black Ops 4 for that reactive camo. And it was like four different colors and it was only $6. Now, obviously, the bundles are more expensive because there's other things padding the price. But at the end of the day, they could keep adding stuff like this fake Damascus here. And they could essentially make a ton of cash off of it. So, very smart marketing. 20 round magazine, commando foregrip, sleight of hand, greater chassis and a crappy hollow sight for the EBR. Take that sight off, man, let's be honest. And the stock, you'd probably change. There's no grip tape on here, and there's no barrel or you know muzzle attachment, so you could change a couple things around. You don't really need sleight of hand in a 20 round magazine. The EBR doesn't fire fast enough, in my opinion, for you to burn 20 bullets and need a quick reload. If you can't hit you know two to three shots out of 20, you don't deserve to even be reloading at that point. I mean, you shouldn't be missing that many shots with the EBR. So, at the end of the day, I think this is a good buy. Change a couple attachments. Hopefully, it still looks okay with the fake Damascus and the new attachments being added. But, obviously, if you're adding a barrel to this, it might really mess some things up. It really just depends on how the gun looks after you add the correct attachment. So, take it with a grain of salt on that one. But, that one is very, very cool. Moving on, Huntsman. We've seen it a million times. Pause the video on the blueprints if you are interested. And, the skin we'll run through very quickly. And, we'll show you the finishing move. But we've seen them a million times. We just saw a tactical human very recently. So no reason to really go over it too much. But um, moving on. Moving on to the good stuff. Fool's Gold. Uh, this bundle I'm not a fan of. 1,300 cod points. I think it's just a waste, man. We have an Odin blueprint here. Odin factory barrel 420. And a 5 milliwatt laser ultralight. 30 round magazine. A stipple grip tape. Honestly, man. 30, round, 30 rounder is not necessary. 20 is fine for the Odin in my personal opinion. 5 milliwatt laser, you're better off changing it to attack laser just due to the fact that the Odin is so slow on the ADS. Now, there's a, uh, what is it called, black ASP blueprint in the battle pass right now, like tier 35. It's absolutely insane. It's the best iron sights on the Odin. There's no reason to buy Odin blueprints because of that being in the battle pass. That's my personal opinion anyway. And, um, you know, this one right here, it's just it's just not a good blueprint in my opinion. Bankroll for the Origin 12, 5 milliwatt laser and no stock, 25 round drum magazine and stipple grip tape. Honestly, it seems like a solid build. However, there's no choke. There's no longer barrel on here to kind of reduce your spread. This is more of a shipment class or you know a custom games class or you know hardcore that's really the only options you have with this one right here it looks cool you would have to run it as a secondary if you use it on any other map for close quarter engagement i mean there's really no practical use to the shotgun in my personal opinion here is the calling card that is animated for an extended view of that that one's going to cost you 1300 cop points let's get into the ronin bundle here this one looks really really sick man the lone dragon it really looks good with the m4 they paired it with i think the whole entire skin looks very very nice we have soulful wanderer here this is an m4 blueprint and it's very similar to the zip tile with the extended rail 
and um, the extended barrel even though it is the 14.5 tack light barrel which is going to extend or not extend it's going to increase your ADS speed so it's not one of the better barrels however I have found an M4 class in this game that you don't even put a barrel attachment on and it does insane I'm thinking about uploading that very very soon we have the operator foregrip which looks very nice with that barrel and um, you know it's one of the better foregrips it's not the best one but it's definitely one of the better ones you have the tack laser which looks great along with that extended rail they're really pushing this pbx hollow i'm not a fan of that one man i just don't like it we so i'd probably take that off see what the iron sights are looking like uh with the tack light i think the iron sights aren't trash i think they're kind of like that xrk blueprint at the beginning of the game and um, we have the forge tack close quarter stock it's going to increase your ads as well so it's going to be a very very nice uh, ADS class if you take that site off you put rubberized or stippled on whatever you'd like you know it's gonna be a decent class and um, you know it's gonna be pretty good for the cabin fever playlist that just came out so definitely approve of that one we have the peace and tranquility here this is gonna be for the x16 I think it looks very very nice I think it looks like with the magazine and the gold I think it does look really dope um, so we got the lightweight trigger 17 round magazine rubberized grip tape and sleight of hand love all of that and then we have the featherweight barrel um, I think that reduces bullet velocity and increases your ADS. So, you know, it's not terrible. And if you can get the quick snaps, cool. Uh, I believe there might be a magazine a little bit longer than the 20 or the 17. I think there's one in the 20 somewhere. Could be wrong on that as well. Uh, I believe base is 13. 17 is the next step. And then the next one is going to be, what, like 20 some? Um, Destiny 2 making its cameo here today. Uh, the rubberized grip tape is going to help with that recoil the lightweight trigger gives you the fast follow-up shot sleight of hand when you burn that 17 round mag and the lightweight or the featherweight barrel you know getting those quick um you know reacquisition shots so that's cool man i really do approve of this one and we have the no masters axe it's the first weapon that we have seen in my knowledge i don't think there's been another weapon yet where it has been a knife so this is interesting to see if they're going to start adding a bunch of these weapons in now. You know, Black Ops 4, we saw stop signs, um, you know, robot hands. We saw so much crap in Black Ops 4. So this might be the start of that. They might not go as crazy as the robot hands, but they might add some, some more modern type of weapons here. You know, more axes and things like that. Maybe baseball bats or something. So we'll see, man. But that's cool that they're finally adding some, you know, variety, I should say. So we have his Go clip here, death, fear me. and then we have the slice and dice. Oh, one of the quicker finishing moves too, which is definitely good. We have calling card for him, that one looks cool. We have deep wounds, that sticker looks dope. And you have the rally cry spray. No tear skips in this one, that's pretty unusual. Usually we'll see like two tear skips with this. But guys, that's going to do it for this shop today. I tried to make it, you know, quick for the amount of content we had to go through. Sorry if it was a little sloppy and felt rushed. Like I said, I've recorded this a bunch and there's a lot of stuff to go over. So when you keep messing up over so many times, you know, you start to get impatient. So I do apologize for that. But if you did enjoy the video here today, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out the sponsors and equipment in the description below. Make sure you're sticking around for the free gift later. And uh, yeah, we'll probably have some class videos coming out either later tonight tomorrow and then also if you're a tarkov viewer and made it this far somehow uh we have tarkov tarkov tomorrow as well thank you guys so much for watching i'm out